Can't we, why can't we yeah, get a so, spicy ear field? <laughs> yeah, TWM picking Maravaca right off the rip. Oh, yeah. So whose map pick is this? This is TWM's? Yes, this this will be TWM's map pick. And BKP gets to choose what side hey, they prefer to play. Mm -hmm. So do they want to play defense or attacking first? That's, that's yeah, like, I think, kind of looking at this map, the more we've played it, it does seem heavily defense-sided. But it's mm -hmm. very dependent on the light tank of the defending team to know what he's doing. That's what I was just going to say. <clears throat> really, really depends on the light tank player. If you have a very good light tank player who knows how to continuously keep his health and doesn't just spaz out and start shooting, then you're probably going to have a better time on the attacking side or on the defending side. If you have a garbage light tank player who's not very patient, then you're not going to have a very good time. <laughs> yeah, and like we saw last time when we watched BKP t play uh, GRSP, like they played it very slow, let their light, who kept his health pretty much the entire game, figure out all the info they needed. They spotted pretty much everybody before they made a move, and then moved in. So, it, this might work out. Uh, it looks like that's an interesting pick. Uh, BKP has not picked what side they want, but it looks like they might be taking attack. Oh, it's a tier 9. Okay. This is going to be yeah. tier 9. ECL is tier 9. Nice. Never remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah, BKP is good with attacking. EWM taking the RU, though. I, almost, I, like, I personally, I know it does have the best spotting at tier 9, I believe. And very good camo. But I don't, I don't like it over like uh, the, uh, what the T fifty four lightweight or other other tanks like that. Even the T forty nine, because the T forty nine with a derp gun can can do some work if you get into a good spot. <laughs> well, for this map, you don't want to do, you want stealthy over damage for sure. anyways. So having that T forty nine probably not the best play. You know, but looking at some of these, like the lore. 40, the Object 777 on defense, I'm not quite sure where they're going to place those tanks. Uh, the 777 is probably going to go down to the A base and just kind of hold that position. Lorraine's probably going to go all the way down to that bottom under Muravanka. Yeah. They're, they're probably just going to chill down there. Uh, KBZ is obviously going to go to a normal spot. Conquerors are going to go to a normal spot. RU's going to go to a normal spot. But is, is the lore worth picking up over like a KPZ? Uh, Lorraine has a, I believe it's a six round auto loader. Oh, uh, okay. Like 340. Oh, well, they oh. dropped. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, I was going to say they dropped it. It's going to be interesting <laughs> to see what they do with it. It's, I don't know if they, if you can build it for stealth and it'd be really, really good stealth wise. They might be taking it to. because it, it does have slightly better armor than the bad chat. Mm. If I remember right. So they might be taking it for just like kind of more of like a armor aspect. It's it's quite possible. I mean, it it has, I believe, sixteen hundred and fifty HP. So it could be HP wise as well. But that's only fifty more HP comparatively. So who knows? It'll it'll be interesting. Maybe this is their um. Maybe this is their ace in the hole. The, the Lorraine is. It could be. It could decent. very well be. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm kind of excited to see. Oh nope, they swapped out one of the Lorraines for a bad chat. Take it back down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know really what they want to do. I mean, they took down <laughs> one of their KPZs, put another one back up, dropped <laughs> one of their Lorraines, put another Lorraine up. And like they got a lot of guys chat. in here, so may maybe they're just trying to. They're they're like, oh, this guy's here. He's better in that tank, so let's just put him in it. Yeah. I mean, still, but dropping one Lorraine and then putting in a bad chat, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you feel like putting in both bad chats would be better? Mm, it depends on what they're going to do with mm. them. Like I said, if they're going for, like, the Lorraine kind of acting more like a slightly heavy brawler role, it's going to be better in the bad chat. 
That's if he's if he's flanking, then it's probably a worse pick in my eyes because it's slower. It doesn't have the camo. What I was gonna get ready to say was the Lorraine is pretty slow for a medium, if I do remember correctly. The other thing it could be is they are allowed to ban tanks out, so maybe they're expecting a bad chat ban. Mm -hmm. Possible. Conway getting put up though. That is an interesting TD. It's. Maybe because they're expecting quite a bit baby of mediums. Waffle. Yeah, and Baby Waffle. You could be having the uh, running the Hesh gun. You could just pop a bunch of those mediums for 700 damage. <laughs> Conway on defending side would probably be a good, better idea than on attacking side, in my opinion. It, yeah. it, we might not even see TWM take a TD, to be honest. And I can kind of understand that. It doesn't look like they're going to, having all eight already up. They don't really need a TD on a defending side. I mean, it's nice for if you have like a T30 hitting for 700 for like every 15 seconds or something like that. It's, that's nice. But also having a baby waffle doing 500 damage a shot for every like seven seconds is really nice as well. But you don't really need it, need it per se. Yeah. And who knows, maybe the baby waffle got banned out. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's, out. Yeah, I'm looking to see if there's any bans and so far uh, Samurai asked if anybody wanted to ban anything and there hasn't been any that have been thrown out. Hmm. Gonna be interesting to see how these get how both teams play. Um like now correct me if I'm wrong, Gino. The Conway with the big gun does have a faster reload than the T thirty, correct? I believe so. I believe it's about three seconds faster. Could be completely wrong. I don't really know very much about the Conway with the big gun. Mostly because I don't use it. The other thing with the Conway is that he could be just using it for blind fire on the uh, RU. Yeah, that could be. Completely punish that RU. You no, know, it's it's upsetting to not see any uh, you know, bars coming out. <laughs> oh, I know. But no mills. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be interested to see what TWM does here. Only picking three heavy tanks at all. Uh, KPZs kind of act as a secondary uh, heavy tank, truthfully. Yeah, they do have, they have very good armor. Very good turret armor. What do they? And the Conquer, I'm I'm assuming the Conquerors are literally just going to be sitting hold down the entire game. So it's going to be hard to pen them. Uh, yeah, I'm just win. worried about that object. Like if if they do that, uh. The riverside base he's not he's gonna have to come out completely in the open to be able to shoot uh i think the object has a little more gun depression than you think i believe it sits at like six or eight all right uh, all right on bk's bkp side we have powell and uh minister in the conquerors we have roman and albert in the object 257s. I don't even know how to say that guy's name. Sister. In the Batch at 25 <laughs> TAP. Styric in the KPZ. John in the 1390. And Bud in the Conway. Right on TWM side, we've got we a D in the Conqueror, Jam, Conqueror, Rishkur in the object, uh, Slunio in the Batch at Woodjack in the War. Damien, the KBZ, Hub, KBZ, and Lord, and the RU. So I did, I did go and check out. The uh, Conway does have big gun on. But I thought. The okay. TWM's doing a really interesting play here, sending only two guys to cover this A cap, which, unknow it to them, EKP is sending their entire team this way. Yeah. It's gonna be a heavy A rush. Uh, they have the speed to rotate out. The only thing that's going to be kind of hard to rotate out is going to be that triple seven. Yeah, like they're like both like they're kind mm -hmm. of at a advantage on T on TWM being that they left nobody to spot out anywhere else on the map. Yeah, even the lights are here.
Like those conquerors. They're gonna gain control of this mid. Yeah, I don't think conquerors are gonna be able to peek and get a shot unless they over peek. Could be wrong though. Ooh, he takes multiple shots and an Amorak shot from these heavies. Conquer was getting absolutely clipped by the bat chat at 1390 in the KBZ. Missing the shots in the mid. Mediums are going in shots on the guys in the cap. One does go in on Minister. This is exactly what AWM wanted, I feel like. They definitely wanted them to go on A base. They have to get that it was in the game. Bad chat. Like, like, Roman in the 257, he's Ooh. bounced quite a few he shots just from the rear end of his tank. Both Conquerors go down right there after they get hard rushed. It looks like BKP just decided not to worry about Cap, take out the, take out the two heavies. Well, BKP Conway's got to be careful there. here. He's, yeah, he's got three mediums and a light ready to shoot him. <laughs> Granted, they already took a huge hit from something, he's down 200 health. Yeah. Laura taking a shot from one of the heavies. Conway's shooting head Conway. and only puts the yeah. heat into the rain. Let's go down and he gets another shot Ooh. on the lore. In for 600. Ooh, so Magic 57 shifts around to help out the Conway and take them out. KPZ doing a good job keeping them biz occupied even though he's not on cap. Now this is where Panic Circus is set in because Cap is getting pretty low. You start I have to start getting the shots off on people. Well, the thing is, BKP is doing a good job using, e even using the Conway and the Conqueror to keep the the two five sevens behind people, so that it's harder to get shots on them as they have most cap points. There it goes. It's over. BKP did that well. They saw they had overmatches and took both the, con the Conquerors out, which is two of their three heavies. Yo. Yeah. All right. On BKP side, we have Minister in. One kill, 255 damage, 35 assist. But the Conway, 2,193 damage, 220 assist. Anuta, the AMX, two kills, 2,192 damage, 580 assist. Gerwick in the KBZ. 1,302 damage, 220 assist. Uh, Wooster in the back jet, 897 damage, 287 assist. Howell in the Conqueror, 723 damage, 35 assist. Upper Kaki in the object, 2 kills, 482 damage, 35 assist. Broke in the object, object and with goose eggs. So I'm going to point out, uh, before you go over to the other team, Gino, uh, Roman had 2,000 blocked. Off of the medium shooting his rear end and bouncing. <laughs> All right, on TWM side we have Sal in the bat chat, one thousand two hundred nine damage. Damien in the KPZ, nine hundred eighty damage, two hundred the eight assist. Wojek in the Lorraine, eight hundred and seventy two damage. Jim in the Conquer, seven hundred ninety five damage, six hundred fifty seven assist. Hub in the KPZ, 700, 1 kill, 761 damage. D in the Conqueror, 434 damage. Lord in the RU, 224 damage. And says, I'm just going to call him Gao <laughs> with goose eggs. <laughs> it's, it's so it's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like the one Conqueror, um, D, he, only, he didn't get any damage blocked. And that's likely due to the sheer overmatch they had. They had a whole team versus two guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're still throwing up that 777. The keys five till the end of the match. He did a good job getting to a haul down position and kind of just keeping the heavies occupied. His problem was they were on cap. He had to push into them, and that's never going to be a good play. Still keeping the rain, which is interesting. Dropping their RU for a 1390. Dropping one of the KPZs for a waffle. Mm -hmm. Oh, double light tank. This is interesting. Now, you guys know me. 
I see that EBR 90. I'm expecting that man to play incredibly aggressive. He's <laughs> got that extra survivability of not being able to be tracked, being able to eat shells with those wheels. Lighting play is definitely interesting. I mean, you know, that EBR90 and the 1390 together are just absolutely insane. That teenage. That teenage can do work if put in the right position, though. Oh, yeah. They took down the DNA chip. I'm glad DWM isn't taking super long to, uh, pick up the tanks because it's their map usually no yeah they had a plan and it it i can't say it didn't work it was just where the heavies placed themselves it made it really hard for them to get resets on more than one person at a time yeah. you need to back up oh yeah the uh, is guy that, okay is are three five sevens allowed? No. Oh, I do not believe they are. I heard. I could be wrong because you know we're in say different leagues. Oh uh, yeah. I, oh, actually, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, TCL, you're allowed three. It's semi pro. You're only allowed two. Okay. Okay. Weird that they're taking triple conquer then on TWM side. Yeah, it's that, that to me that is kind of an interesting play picking that seven seven seven. Um, like I, I don't, I've played it a little bit, not too much myself. I don't really know what the benefits are of it over like an object two five seven. Uh, it's kind of trolly a little bit. It's definitely easy to bend if you know where to hit it, though. Who knows me? Maybe they're trying to make it act like it's a uh, IS-7. Like, yeah, you can kind of do it with it. it. Also, it is a little bit shorter than the uh, 257, so that might be why they might know a spot that only that tank can work. Maybe. Just have to find out, I guess. <laughs> Alright, on BKP side, we have Bud and the TNH. We've got... Albert in the Object 257, Mini in the Object 257, Roman in the Object 257, Sizz in the Hatchet 25, Al and Stirk in the KPZ, and John in the AMX 1390. EWM, we have a Demon in the Conqueror, Gemma Conqueror, uh, Gal in the Object, Wood Tech in the Lore, Damien, KPZ. Kind of interesting. They're sending their light over to A cap. Ooh, but BKP, they're expecting this this riverside push. Yeah, maybe they've played against them before. It, that Maybe. could be. They could also be just unless the other team full sends onto that eight cap, they're gonna have time to rotate back. They got a good bit of the speed. The only thing that might save the WM here is that they're trying to get around the cap the second they realize everybody's over here. Looks like Rowan mm -hmm. got spotted. He already bounced the shot though. Let's see what these lights do. If if they could go with a just a cap play and get those two lights on the cap, if they've got the 1390, 
It looks like they might be what they're that. doing. Mm -hmm. they might, they're setting up to get side shots right now. I think crossfire. TWM's doing a good job setting their guys in positions to get crossfires on multiple people. In H taking some damage. Batchet's trying to re it out, taking a lot of damage. Ooh, into it. Ooh, Ooh Batchet, he's, he's, he's getting focused out quick. Ooh, bouncing shot though. It hits his track. Ooh. Floor is not reload. Down. Ooh, PC doesn't Ooh. land a shot though. Floor went down. It's the con. BKP, they, they knew they had this over match over here with the heavies, so they took it. PWM does, does take out 257 though. Well, they take out the second one. Oh, they're putting out the KPZ. That was weird. I don't know why they conquered about the KPZ. The TD in the back took out the KPZ, though, and huge fire on that 777. Yeah, that's gonna cost them. Oh, and the baby weapon miss. Ooh. Ooh, 257. Oh, the KPZ did win this fight. Here we go. Here. PBR misses both the shots, but AMX comes in and finishes it. He should have landed it. He hardly mm -hmm. shot him so, even by 90. HP wise, both teams are relatively similar. Uh, TWM actually slightly in the lead. Off my face. Yep. There he goes. But both these, both these lights are going to be able to kind of put in some work on this TNH, especially with this KPZ whip there. That light, he, he knows he can't really get into this fight. These are absolutely running this game right now. Ooh. Yeah, they are. 4 to 1, and it is an AMX. He's going to be able to take out both the other team's lights if he just lands his shots on them. Same thing with KPZ. You just got to be careful, but TWM, it looks like they're playing smart, keeping those lights together, letting them try to just run together as a group. And their AMX 1390s reloaded as well. So. Hey, Yuri. Yeah, they're going to throw the BR90 on cap. 39 is going to run uh, interception. Ooh, first shot from the BKP's 39. Doesn't miss. Second this shot. This is just... one more. That's you can't win this fight. Ooh, bounces oh, the gosh. third though. You literally can't <laughs> win this fight now. It's the he gets ammo right before. Ooh. All he has to do is so, land for one shot. Dr. Did a shot and just finished off. You beautifully played. All right, on BKP side we have Bud, TH, Mini Strand the Object. Oops, sorry, let me do the numbers. <laughs> that would help. <laughs> Bud the TNH, one kill, 2,389 damage. Mini Strand the Object, one kill, 2,311 damage, 214 assists. Your KBZ, one kill, 1,327 damage. Wizard, the Bat Chat, 1,278 damage. Awa, the KBZ, 1,040 damage, 214 assists. Nucha, the AMX, 1,028 damage. Uh, Albert, the object, 740 damage, 111 assist. Roman, the object, 1 kill, 608 damage. On the DWM side, we had Hubby and the Baby Waffle, 2 kills, 3,706 damage. Damien and the KPZ, 2 kills, 2,171 damage. Alhambra makes 1,392 2 kills, 1,952 damage. Gao in the triple seven, one kill, one thousand five hundred forty-three damage. Day in the Conquer, one thousand two hundred thirty-one damage. Jana in the Conquer, one thousand two hundred ten damage. Lord in the BR ninety, one kill, one thousand one hundred seventy-three damage, two hundred forty assist. And Wojek in the Brain with nine hundred fourteen damage. So yeah, like looking back on that game though, BKP played that almost perfectly. They, they saw that the, that TWM split up to try to do crossfires, kind of trap those guys in, and but they realized that their heavies had a massive overmatch. So they took the, mat, the overmatch. They almost won that fight. They pretty much took out all the heavies. The problem was that Baby Waffle sitting in the back just got to sit there and farm. Guy shot off mm -hmm. seven or eight shells before he was even hit. That, and that, that Waffle is definitely the turning point. Yeah. He he took he took two of them out and put one of them from that and at that point the lights could come in they knew they couldn't just get targeted out they didn't have enough guns to do it anymore so they, and then they started running that fight while like on BKP side only having the one light he was able to get shots in but he wasn't able to go in because there's still too many people alive. WE came in with a plan and they executed that plan.
But uh, looks like uh, BKP's picking Proc. We did see them last time in the semifinals play this. They played it really well. Very well. Mm-hmm. See if they pull this, pull out their, uh, their little strategy again. Still taking that rain. I mean, it, it sure it did work, but gotta be a better. The match hat has to be better. Yeah. It, it really depends on what they're going for. In that aspect, that Lorraine actually helped because he kept that KPZ alive. They had to use a, a few more shells to take him out. The bad chat had to fully clip. The KPZ had to throw, I think, two more shots into him than if he, it was a bad chat. I think he blocked a shell or two in there. That's the only reason that KPZ probably survived that fight. So I can see why they're doing it. They're definitely doing a hill play with the Lorraine and the bats. Right, you would think so. Mm, it, it's it's it, it could be or it could be they're setting them up over on one line with the light in front of them. Maybe. Okay, I'm convinced. Gal has to only have that triple seven at tier nine. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe. Um, looking at the last match, let's just look real quick. In that triple seven, he blocked thirteen hundred damage and landed all four of his shots. Yeah, but he—it's so fire prone to me. Could be. Uh, it really depends on where they're going to place him. It, it, with him getting picked on that, I almost guarantee they're going to put him one line. It's probably, probably the only place he—I feel like he's going to be able to really work. Being that it sits so low, he can sit in that A2 position and be entirely hauled down, if I remember correctly. EKB throwing up the triple conquer. Yeah, I think they're doing their exact play that they had last last time that we watched them. And it, it worked perfectly. Like, there's no need to change what's already working, so... Well, oh, but I'm messing everything up because TW is attacking and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Having that beam but still, waffle, I... I mean, I guess they could place him on one line with a light. But... Yeah, I, th- I think we're going to see object, baby waffle, and the light all going towards one line, letting the lore and the bad cat take hill. Probably what we're going to see. Conquerors go mid, KPZ it's kind of flexible. He can go mid, but we're going to push him on hill. All right. And on BKP side, we have Mini, Roman, and Powell in the Conquerors. We have... I'm just going to call him Terror because it's easier. Terror in the Bat Chat. Albert and the Steer and the KPCs. Jan in the T54. And Bud in the Baby Waffle. On Team WM side, we have Demon, Conquer, Jama the Conquer, uh, uh, Gal the Object 2, Saloon on the Bad Chat, Wojcik, Lord, Amy and QBZ, Lord, are you, and Hub the Mini Waffle. Trying to see if either of the waffles picked up the big gun. It doesn't look like they did. They're using the small gun, 560 Alpha, good reload. 560 Alpha was 7. Was it like a 7 second reload? I believe it's 7.6. Also, smaller caliber, so you're able to shoot a little bit closer and not get spotted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and BKP is setting up almost identical to what we saw in the uh, semifinals. Pretty much setting up for that one line play, ignoring BKP entirely, other than putting the KPZ over there just to spot. It's going to work because of how. Of how TWM is setting up, this is perfect. I mean, they're completely not going to be, they're not taking that hill at all. Even their, all their mediums, one of their heavies, and their TD all on the back. Yeah, so they're keeping them unspotted, probably going to do a delayed push, seeing out, so letting their lights figure out what's going on with everything. They are going to struggle with the amount of uh, medium tanks that BKP took, and they're all sitting back in pretty decent positions. Bad chat over on one line is a little interesting sitting in the open field like that, but he is far back. He likely isn't going to get spotted. 
KW him is rotating the, the Lorraine and the Batchet out. Gonna go up on hill. The Lorraine's gotta be careful though. T the T-54, if he gets a slight aggressive in mid, just a little bit, he might be able to spot him out. Uh, I doubt he'll get aggressive with the two Conquerors sitting there. Um, so, I, the Lorraine should be fine. Going over tracks now, slowing him down though, that's an interesting play. Yeah. Like, they're just trying to remain unspotted, it seems like. Because they have I to know this KPZ's over here. Still leaving their KPZ and their 777 sitting in the back, though. The Aries rooting out. Both teams taking this slow, trying to trying to get stuff played out. Has a BKP spot not even been fired? He already shot two or three times. I think he's just been kind of either blind firing or shooting at the down tree that the KPZ knocked, because I know he threw a couple shots this direction. It does look like TWM's having their light spot out that B cap, just seeing what's all going on over there. Lorraine did go up on hill. Might get some shots in on this KPZ that's in mid. Yes, so th this is going to be a problem now, because... They didn't spot out that rotate. The bat chat's keeping himself in a position where if they try to push over tracks, he's going to be able to shoot. Same thing with the lore. And if they try to shift anybody out for like where those three conquerors are, they're not going to be able to shift without the con the TWM's conquerors hitting them in the hitting them in the back. Only guys are going to be really able to shift to these two mediums they have over on one A line. So they could do a super super heavy play and just throw the RU on a, a B cap, keeping that KPZ held down in that position. That they can't really do anything unless they throw that KPZ and rotate the two well, mediums. Yeah, they could rotate the two mediums because they'll, they'll, it'll be almost identical to what TWM did, where they got to rotate it for free without being spotted. Hmm. And I think that's what they're worried about is they have no eyes over there right now. That bad chat is moving. He Ooh. might be going to take that river. They landed a nice shot on the T-54 lightweight, though. Looked like it came from the uh, baby oh, nice. bubble. Uh, I don't think it came. I think it came from the triple seven. That's four hundred damage. Oh yeah. Whereabouts? Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, very minimal shots have been taken. Now they could rotate the, and the BZ and the triple seven out of there, push them onto B base. Well, we got the the lore and the bad chat pushed up kind pretty far. They're, it looks like they're letting their light try to get into a position to be able to spot if they try to do that uh, A-line push to those mediums, and then I, I bet we're going to see both these little lore and the bad chat take this cap. We're just looking lore. over there. If the lore and the bad chat get on the base, though, they don't really have very much cover. I mean, they that don't, you can do a little bit, but... That could be the play, because... I don't think any of the guys on one line have been spotted. They haven't shot with the baby waffle yet. Only the object shot. And with how the T V D four has been, that's given them enough time to rotate him out if they wanted to. Granted they didn't. So for all BKP knows, they rotated that object out and that KPZ. So they might try to do a full rotate and then DWM could take one line and just catch them with their pins down. Hmm. The other thing I'm worried about is uh, the RU. He's looking over a lot of these trees, giving themselves some cover if they stay on cap. This KB is going to get a land. That was a blind fire from one of the conquerors. That was interesting. Yeah. Probably would have hit if they were still sitting up there, truthfully. Exactly what I thought. They're going to throw this batch hat on cap in these bushes, try to keep himself completely concealed from anything. We are seeing BKP shift those two medians, like I said. See. But that lore, he's staying in good position. It. Set it off because the KPZ pushed. KPZ is going to get punished for doing KPZ, it. Though. Ooh. Now here's the problem, though. This other KPZ, they're setting up a crossfire. Who do you watch here? Because one of the KPZs is just going to peak for free. 
Well, not entirely, because the Bad Chat is watching the one on A-Line, while the Lord's watching the one on tracks. neither of them are really going to be able to push without taking damage. Hunger gets Ooh, a good Hunker just took a hit That was from the Waffle. Yeah, that was from the Waffle. Who? Other exactly what I did? thought. The moment they rotated that, that medium outlook, you're seeing TWM do a push down one line right now. Yep. Unfortunately, Ooh, baby waffle the baby waffle shot back is going to cause a big problem. Mm, maybe <laughs> not, though. I don't know. Oh. Oh, he took yeah. a hit, but the waffle got spotted. He was spotted. But they, they target out this waffle. Ooh, yeah, and the that's waffle exactly is going to go down. That's doing. insane. Well, TWM's waffles take help and take out these conquerors. Two of them down to under, Ooh, under a thousand. They are rotating every. Everybody over to these conquerors, they're going to kill them. They, they want them out. Conquered, yeah. They want them out, but they're taking a lot of punishment to do this. They are taking they a lot of damage to on the Lorraines and the Bad Chat rotated up. T54. They're going to lose KPZ. And the T54. T54 at least managed to take out the one conquer, but now this last conquer, he's in a crossfire between four different four different angles right now. Yep, he has power. Yeah. Getting rain on. It's just down to this KPZ who's pretty much got to fight a lore and a Bad Chat. But it's hitting him real good by the time he's there. That probably isn't fully reloaded. He probably doesn't have his full clip. But... And it's, wow. Missing play by WM there. Yeah, they played that perfectly. Oh, yeah. We're on BKP side, we have Bud, Waffle, 2254 damage. Oh, well, Conquer, 738 damage, 507 assist. And the T54, 529 damage, 94 assist. Roman and the Conqueror, 402 damage, 281 assist. Maestrand and the Conqueror, 360 damage, 683 assist. Thurbrick and the KBZ, 320 damage. Richter and the Bichet, 275 damage. Elber and the KBZ, 94 assist. On TWM side, we have Hubby and the Baby Waffle, 3 kills, 3,041 damage. Damien and the KPZ, 1 kill, 1,929 damage, 333 assist. Ozajek and the Lorraine, 1,770 damage, 482 assist. D and the Conqueror, 1 kill, 1,769 damage, 176 assist. Lord and the RU, 2 kills, 1,657 damage, 331 assist. Jamma and the Conqueror, 1,653 damage, 176 assist. Yao and the 777, 1 kill, 1,441 damage, 398 assist. And Sal and the Batchat, with 590 damage and 572 assist. Yeah, so other than the RU on TW side, everybody landed every shot but two. Especially their waffle went 6 for 6, making every one of the shots count. And they, they played that... They couldn't have played that better, you know. If there wasn't a delay in the stream, it might seem like they used what I said as as the thing, but <laughs> it was it was just kind of something I saw that we were doing. They're keeping tanks hidden back, doing that rotate, getting stuff ready. The moment they saw that that shift happened, they knew that they didn't have those one line tanks anymore and took them out. I do want to point out that TWM only lost one conquer that entire fight, and the conquer yeah. almost didn't go down. The T fifty four killed him right as he got killed by the baby waffle. That was an insane. That was a really good play by TWM. I will, will say. And I think a, a large portion of that was Hubby and that baby waffle. Anytime those conquerors tried to peek to get a good shot on him, he immediately punished them. Mm -hmm. Has Hubby been in their baby waffle every time? I believe he has been. He knows what he's doing with that thing. I believe he. I could be wrong. Wasn't he also the one that played the Conway? No, that was BKP. That was BKP. Yep. Bud. Oh, right. On BKP side, we have Bud and Powell and Ooh. Roman in the Conquer, Albert in the T57, Mini in the T57, Pear in the Badget. Steer in the KPZ and Jan in the AMX 1390. Okay, you're at the Dudas Legion. It completely glitched my screen now. I can't. Okay, uh, we have Demon in the Conquer, uh, Jamma in the Conquer, Gao in the Object 277 again, 
uh, Sonji and Wajika. I can't say these names. Uh, Sonji in the bad chat, Wajika in the lore, Damien in the KPZ, Lord in the RU, and Hubby back in that waffle. Wajitek, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm... Um, Sorry. <laughs> Names are not my forte. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. That's why you guys mm -hmm. read them and not me. Hey, man. You gotta make it work somehow. I think I know how to read some of these names. <laughs> so you really didn't like me Lord, looking at the previous Lord games. immediately getting a spot and just trying to get a shot off. I mean, get the damage where you can get it. Yeah, like it's Conquer. It's gonna be a hard tank to hit. Ooh, he does take a hit from the, ob the Object 257, though. Was it worth it? Who knows? Ooh, it's a TWM. They noticed this. I think they spotted out almost their entire team, so they're immediately sending this batch out by himself. This batch could get side shots very easily, depending on how fast he rotates here. Uh, yeah. It seems like he's he staying. A demon took a hit from KPZ as he was rotating. They rotated their light off of the ridge, which is kind of interesting. I don't think I would have done that, but... Well, they are keeping... Granted, I would prefer to see this waffle knock down the tree next to him so that he at least has some bush cover. They are keeping him as far back as possible in a good position to get shots. One of the conquerors gets a shot on the 257 as they're doing this push, but... You got a, what, five-man push over here? Yeah. Four? Uh, uh, five-man oh. push. Now... Now it's an entire team that the now that the conquerors are pushing up too. But they're, they're going to take out this conquer. They are gonna get punished for doing it though. Yeah, but is it gonna be enough? I know the two five seven took a lot of damage there, but they didn't they didn't take him out before he got over. Both conquerors are down now. Bad chat rotated in, but it's probably too late. It's gonna get focused out here. Here we go, back in. Yeah, he got tracked almost immediately. He's down gonna to go down. KBC is being relentless. Here goes the picture. Light tank trying down. to support him, he just can't make those shots land. Now they're not in a great position because these heavies, especially these conquerors, are gonna be able to get on his base and stay all down. The baby waffle is getting completely focused here. After last game, I can see why they're doing it. He was a huge factor in that last one, going pulling the most damage of anybody. Mm -hmm. Or Object 277 pushing up towards mid. Maybe they're trying to take out Conquer. Uh, yeah, uh, take out that Ooh, Conquer in the PTZ. The then all you have to do is shoot on Conquer in the hatchets that are sitting in base because they're applying a lot of pressure. Well, he's gonna take the Conquer. Six mm -hmm. seconds left. He might, if he gets a shot here. Yeah, so he got a shot land. here. And, and he made it. Oh, what a shot. Who's Damien? There goes the baby waffle. Right. Sorry, you're gonna have to get into this fight at this point. He really can't. I mean, if the 777 doesn't get a shot off on here, then that's that's game. Yeah, they're hiding behind that conquer. He wasn't able to get the angle. Hmm. Ow. That was a quick rush play from BKP. On BKP side, we have Roman in the Conqueror, 2 kills, 2,459 damage, 468 assist. Stuart in the KPZ, 2 kills, 2,394 damage, 481 assist. Bud in the Conqueror, 2,369 damage with 81 assist. Mini in the 257, 1 kill, 2,321 damage, 589 assist. Jan in the AMX 1390, one kill, 1,350 damage, 2,000 or 278 assist. Terror in the Batchet with 935 damage, 73 assist. Powell in the Conquer with 781 damage, 81 assist. Albert in the 257 with 449 damage and 73 assist. The deal you didn't said decided not to bring me to the end screen that time. <laughs> Alright, Wabajek in the lower with 3 kills, 2,405 damage, 150 assist. Damien in the KPZ with five, 1,583 damage and 206 assist. Demon in the Conqueror with 1,579 damage and 335 assist. Hubby in the Waffle with 1,159 damage. 
Sanjio in the bad chat with 870 damage and 184 assist. Uh, Jamato in the Conqueror with 789 damage and 335 assist. Gao in the Object 277, or 1777, with 774 damage and 184 assist. And Lord in the RU with 800 or 668 damage. But PKP there, they did a great job landing their shots. You know, Roman landed 8 for 8. Uh, who was it? Yeah, the uh, Bud landed seven or 6 for 7. A lot of them went 9 for 6. They did a great job landing all their shots there. Oh, yeah. So, so tiebreaker map steps. <laughs> uh, this is not tiebreaker. Remember, this is not best tiebreaker? Of seven. Oh, best it's best of seven. Of seven. That's yeah. right. So oh. it's two to two right now. So would he be if, able to open this the room right now? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Let me. Uh... Yeah. You can send him an invite. I can't. There you go. It shouldn't work on the host. Is able to invite? Work, yeah. Ah. It worked. <laughs> it's open. Oh, there you go. It'd be open. All right, there you go. There we go. Yeah, I won't do that again. <laughs> because <laughs> it doesn't like that. <laughs> There's an imposter on the BKP side. Oh, there, there is an imposter. <laughs> TWM, <laughs> helping them out. <laughs> like we brought almost an entire team. We'll help you guys. <laughs> Teen Agent, bud. No. TWM's been keeping this almost identical lineup. The only thing I'm seeing a change in is they're bringing another 777 this time. Another one, huh? <laughs> Drop their KPZ for a triple seven. That's interesting. The Lord, yeah, it seems to be doing some work for him. To be honest, yeah, I'm I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I would feel like, like the, the bad chats would be better, but does it have a shorter reload than the bad chat though? Uh, might be why. The, that's a good question. I'm I'm assuming not because the bat. Oh, baby, bat does have six, doesn't it? I don't know, man. That is... Uh, it's been a minute since I've played mine, so I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that, that's a small gun. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. It doesn't get an extra gun. So, uh, Lorraine has six shots for a 40-second reload time. I believe that's identical to the bad chat then. It's likely just they want the health. A yeah, slight probably. better armor. They're actually going a little bit heavier this time, taking a uh, second conquer on TWM. On defending side, I, those two seven seven, those two objects seven seven sevens have to be going over the tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really see any positions they can really work over by the uh, B base. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be interesting to, be to see going... what BKP does, though. I mean, so far, it's looking more. Like a B push. Yeah, they, the like only the reason DNH. I say that. Go for it, Jim. The only reason I say that is because two five sevens and the KPZs. I mean, don't. I mean, KPZ has decent gun depression, not the absolute best. Two five sevens also don't have the absolute best gun depression, so it could just be a straight B rush. I think the TNH can do that peak over tracks and shoot. Could be wrong. It's been a minute, but yeah, both uh, 
four pack. Both these teams are incredibly good. Hmm. They're both realizing immediately when there's an overmatch, taking it, making sure all their shots count. So here's something funny. Yeah, PKP is now taking all the rain. <laughs> hey. Kills you makes you stronger, right? Pretty much. <laughs> like, hmm. The Lorraine must be pretty decent if people are using it. <laughs> yeah. Right. On BKP side, we have Bud and the TNH. We have Albert Mini, or no, Albert Roman and Powell in the C57s. We have Mini and the uh, Lorraine, John and the KPZ, Stewart and the KPZ, and Terra and the T54 Lightweight. On TWM side, we have Demon Conqueror, D Demon Conqueror, Gamma Objects, Gal Object, Loon, New and Batchet, Woodjuck, Lore, Lore Drew, and Hubby Mini Waffle. Hmm. So they, they really are like actually... are you? Yeah, like it's been doing a pretty good job for them, but they are sending these objects over towards the B base. Interesting. They're sending almost everyone over towards the B base. Lorraine and Batchat still rolling together, which is, I, I mean, it's good. It's an idea. This RU is about to spot literally everybody on their team. <laughs> yeah, As well, said, maybe not. The the path they're taking, it's 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 slightly hard to spot. I think he has to get up into that F line to be able to spot him. Dang it. That said, massive B push from BKP. Yeah, the problem is it looks like TWM was completely set up and ready for this, and they didn't leave anybody back, so look, the bad chat and the lore are already starting to rotate. Yep. Especially because this T-54 has got to be spotted right now. They know he ain't over there. I don't know if that was a blind fire, or like trying to shoot the, two, uh, the T-54 a lot way, but it hit the 257. It didn't do any damage, but it did hit him. Yeah. The KPZ is getting caught and out, out, though. Yeah. Might go down here. He he was was to to he 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 it he goes also. down. They are, are gonna just overmatch these two seven sevens, but but they're gonna get punished hard by these conquerors doing so. Uh, Ooh, pretty uh, good job staying alive. Yeah, yeah, staying at thirteen HP. Really? I feel like much. Damage. Yeah, KPZ is down. To they're just gonna all jump on B, but the bat and the Lorraine are coming in with the RU. Ooh, that bat that got bat, it focused immediately. Yeah, he he kind of over peaked. There was really nobody else for any of them to shoot it, and they made sure. He and H does go down. The baby waffle gets into a good position for free. Lorraine is gonna nobody to contest him being there. That goes down, but they lose their two five seven. Process. Lorraine's gonna clip this waffle. Waffle misses a shot. It looks like. No, he hit him. Oh. Lorraine is gonna kill the waffle before he's even reloaded. So this is kind of a massive health differential, especially with the fact that Lorraine might go down here. Oh yeah. EWM definitely has a health Ooh. advantage. He misses the shot. Interestingly enough, there are you just backed off the 257. They made sure to kill that Lorraine. They didn't know if he was reloaded yet, so they wanted to make sure he would get taken out. <laughs> the RU no, the two <laughs> <seconds. laughs> I love it. That's great. <laughs> that was great. On BKP side, we had Roman in the Object 257, one kill, 3106 damage. Mini and the Lorraine, 1 kill, 3,062 damage, 980 assists. Bud and the TNH, 1 kill, 1,373 damage, 779 assists. Powell and the 257, 941 damage, 424 assists. Albert and the 257, 2 kill, 754 damage. Pear and the T54 lightweight, 210 damage. Sir and the KPZ was goose eggs, and Jan and the KPZ with goose eggs. Oh, wow. Okay, on uh, TWM side, we have a team in the Conqueror. Two kills, 3,000, 9, 10 damage. Better than two assists. 
Damien the Conqueror, one kill, 3,609 damage, 580 assist. Wood Tech in the Lord, two kills, 2,724 damage. Uh, Gal in the Object, one kill, 1,374 damage, 637 assist. Help with the Mini Waffle, 1,232 damage. 734 damage, 104 assist. Gal in the Object, 467 damage, 256 assist. Lunia on the Batchet, 454 assist. Yeah, so like, this Conquerors from uh, KP though, or not BKP, uh, TWM, both of them landed almost every one of their shots. And they didn't really have to block too much as those Object 777s, they held off for a while. I think uh, Jamato was sitting at 16 health for three or four shots that bounced off of him. Yeah, he blocked almost 2k damage. Yeah, that was like BKP. They they did exactly what they could. It uh, it sucked to see both their KPZs get taken out. The sky work got taken out before he even got a shot off. Um, the other one just wasn't able to get paying shots. I think he was shooting at the conquerors who were all down. Dream bad. One too many. Thanks for the follow, man. A BKP push definitely would have worked if TWM wasn't set up for. That specific play. Yeah, I think the the big factor, honestly, was those two uh, seven seven sevens. Like, like I said, they, it didn't seem like they took a lot of punishment, but they, I think they lost one or two of their heavies. They lost both their KPZs doing it. They lost the light tank. The heavies weren't focused out. They focused out all the mobility, so they couldn't shift out. They kind of had to make that play work. And at that point, all of TWM's team was there. Mm. BKP really not sure what to do here. Mm. They know they want those conquerors, and they know they want that T fifty four lightweight. But other than that, they got nothing else. I'd be still sit sit on that waffle. Who is? Hubby. Yeah, he's. He's been doing really good work with that thing. Mm. Broke, don't fix it. Same thing with Gal staying in that 707. Yeah, um... Signature tank of those two. I guess they took off, um, uh, off, yeah, 777 and put them in a Conquer now. <laughs> yeah. That triple Conquer, looking at this lineup, it's probably going to be a trackside bush. Uh, most likely. BKP keeping the lore on their team, team too. Still keeping a 257 as well. Which, with how they've been working, it, it might work out for them because they've been blocking 2 to 3k a game. Picking up a Conway, though. I think's interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if that Conway is going to be a good pick because it doesn't have nearly as good stealth as that baby wobble. Maybe just trying to counter out those the Lorraine and the Batchat. I would assume. Yeah, like it, it could also be like you said, Hesh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there should be an emote cat on, on my desk. Yeah, I should probably make that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Actually, I had to lock my cats out of my room or else they're going to get in the way. Put your cords. <laughs> with, my, with my luck, they would shut off my PC. Yeah. <laughs> There's the stream. All right, coming into this. All right. On BKP side, we have Powell, Roman, and Albert, or no, two Conquers, okay, well, they're in the Conquers, Albert is in the 257, <laughs> Van is in the Bad Chat, Mini is in the Lorraine, Sir is in the KPZ, Air is in the T54, and Bud is in the Conway. Game side with Damien in the Conqueror, Demon in the Conqueror, Yama Conqueror, Gowie in the Object, Salunio, Bad Chat, 
What tech can the Lord, Lord are, are you and Hubby and the Me Waffle? Exactly as we thought. We're going to see this uh, trackside push. <laughs> BKP is setting up for the B push, though. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, this is really going to depend. They do have the overmatch on these mediums. Their, their Conway is getting pretty aggressive. They might just be trying to do a full rotate before those Conquerors can get all the way around. Uh, it's possible. If their light tank doesn't this T fifty here. Yeah, this T-54, he might have spotted out those mediums. I'm not positive. Almost positive he spotted out the lore at this point. Yep, he definitely did. He's looking right at him. He's taking a shot. Doesn't manage to land it, though. Sorry, you just got to be careful. I don't think they have any of those mediums or the Conway spotted. AKP's T-54 did get tracked. By the bad chat, who's currently on reload. This is going to be a problem for uh, TWM, though. They got... It's like a five-man push coming in on the rear. Oh, they only gonna... they have only only have two clip tanks. They are gonna throw the RU right on the base though, because they realize that there's nothing over here besides conquerors. They're leaving one of their conquerors back. Which is, this is slightly a risky play though, because this 54 spots him. If both these uh, Conquerors hit that Ooh. RU, he's going to be down almost half his health. It's back RU did get spotted there. That's... The BK. Yeah. Ooh, big hit on the 777. It did his ammo. Ooh. Looks like the T-54 is putting in a little bit of work on the 777. Oh, they're rushing the Conquerors. Yeah, yeah they're going to take the Conquerors how much, how much work are these Conquerors going to be able to put in? They're going to have to focus out one person at a time. Huge hit going Focusing on the Conquerors. Focusing out this Conqueror. It's not going to go... Oh. He's going to go down, but... Does they do pick he's out one, him. though. He might be able to take out two here. They are going to kill their bad cat out. Conway's probably one shot. Those are T-54. Lorraine's on T54. reload, but it's... I took the lead. Lord does take out the waffle, but the Lord may get taken out by this conqueror. And here, here comes the problem, board. though. Ooh. The Conway is out in the open. Yeah, two is one tanks shot. he'd be able to one-shot. Looks like he landed a shot on that Conqueror. They have... This is going to be interesting because how HP-wise, BKP's in a massive lead. They're going to take out this Conqueror and put themselves even more in the lead. This heart needs to be very careful with how the Conway is playing. And he's kind of just chilling in mid. But the fact that he's shooting Hash makes it so like Damien, who's at 200 health, can't really do anything. He peeks up, he's going to take a Hash shell and probably die. Mm. Lord's playing this smart, yeah, trying was... to get out of a... What's that doing? Yeah, I was like one of the only ones that has health on their team. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's going to to do it. The problem they're going to run into is this 257 and KP's here full, full health. The bad chat's at almost 1,000. If they're able to take out that T-54 keep their RU alive, they could make this work. It's just going to be difficult. You have three one-shot tanks, so it'd be pretty simple. It really depends on how... Again, this, K but... this KPZ and 257, two though, are going to be the huge factors. they got to make sure they don't get pushed together or set when they're separated, like they are currently. Sorry, it's going to get pushed. Heavily with his bad chat. He's going in, you don't care. 
Damien peeking up looking entirely the wrong way. <laughs> good, good. good job going out on the 2x7. Damien does go down. It's not gonna, it's gonna be enough though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he doesn't manage to take out any Arden of the guys. Does go down. Yeah, that's. Onway does land at 500 yards to the shot. That top way did a lot of work while they were doing the push. Ooh, yeah. We are gonna get a tiebreaker. Ooh, nice. I was wondering right. who was doing the 500 hits, but. On uh, BKP side, we had Bud and Conway. 2,672 damage. It's increased. Who's sure? 24, one kill, 2,565 damage, 817 assist. Zurich in the QBZ, two kills, 2,361 damage, 218 assist. Minucha in the Batch, one kill, 940 damage. Bunker, one kill, 424 damage, 1,542 assist. Into the lore, one kill, 1307 damage, 218 assist. Alvar in the object, two kills, 924 damage, 996 assist. Awa in the conquer, 757 damage, 295 assist. On TWM side, we had D in the conquer, 1691 damage. Yao in the triple seven, one kill, 1603 damage. Lord in the RU, 1420 damage, 724 assist. Damien in the Conquer, 1 kill, 1,774 damage, 1,662 assist. Toby in the Bee Waffle, 1,237 damage. Sal in the ba in the Badget, 1,233 damage. Gemma in the Conquer, 1,194 damage. And Wotacek in the Lorraine with 980 damage. Yes, well, uh, TWM, they, they tried to uh, counteract that push that was coming in from all those mediums by sending uh, one of the T one of the uh, Conquerors back, but he wasn't able to make it fast enough before they had two or three guys on that baby waffle. Mm. Losing that baby waffle was a Karelia. huge factor. Yeah, I believe it's going to be Karelia and counter. Mm -hmm. so the question is, do we see the Object 777 get pulled back out by Gao? <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> Like I said, I swear that's the only thing he had at tier nine. <laughs> Could be. I doubt it's the only tank he has, but we'll have oh, to see. I'm, I'm sure it's not, but he's been doing a good job in it. Might as well keep what's working, you know. Mm -hmm. I am noticing TWM is entirely PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Go oh, back in that baby, baby waffle. waffle. Yeah, I was going to say, taking the baby waffle again. <laughs> Get up the RU, conquer again. Yeah, it looks like they just want to keep the people that have been working the tank well back in them. The question is, how do they want to work? How do they want to work this map? Do you want to try to take the K zero side behind that mountain and then take the mountain, or do you want to go A one? I got a feeling that they're going to send that Lorraine and the Batchet up to the uh, top. They seem to roll together fairly often. That's if they take a Batchet. That is if they take a Batchet. That is right. Are you and picked up a KPZ instead of? So oh, I was just taking a thirteen ninety because they had uh, yeah, thirteen ninety getting taken out. KP, they're trying to figure out what they want to do here. Both teams, the pressure's on. This is an overtime match for the cha for the championship. Mm-hmm. in the last game, you know, not that you know, you might you might lose a round or two but it's not that punishing, you know this one one fatal mistake, one guy dies too early without pulling enough damage, that, that could be game could be mm. truthfully depends on who it is true now is Gal actually going to pick that triple seven? 
or are we not going to see it again? <laughs> We're down to the last pick. Let's see what they do. Reload clout on the lore is 40 seconds. We believe I believe it's the exact same as the bad chat. The thing is, if Gao takes the 777, we're not going to see a bad chat. Mm -hmm. True. 1390 might just be rolling with the Lorraine, though. That's the thing. Yeah, like Cloud said in the chat, um, you know, having the bat with the Lorraine gives the one thing the Lorraine it lacks, that view range. Mm -hmm. Damien over here not quite knowing what he wants to pick. <laughs> He's like, I gotta make sure I got ammo, I gotta make sure I got a Remember? Oh, yeah. They're both very important for this final match. Ah, oh, come on. You guys see me not have commanders all the time. They're optional. Rude. How well do you do? <laughs> they're optional. <Sometimes>. Not optional. <laughs> Sometimes don't I don't say they're optional. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'll you know, take down the 1390. We've seen a lot of. We've seen quite a few matches get played on this map in Encounter. We've seen teams take both the A1 corner and that K0 corner. We've seen teams will win on both sides. Uh, I do think the team that spawns top side does kind of have an advantage. They have slightly better angles to brawl if they go K0. They have a lot more cover going into that uh, A1 area also. They're also able to, like, like we did with the uh, mage and a T30, you're able to get a good position pretty close to your spawn, like a pretty much overwatch cap. Yeah, but you also have to think bottom side also has a shorter way to go to get up top. The mountain. Yeah. Ooh, Bud going back in the Conway. Did a good amount of work in it last time. Mm -hmm. TWM still has one pick. They don't know what they want. <laughs> Sam's saying this is better than a movie, and I agree. These have been some good matches. It has been some very good matches. Hopefully. That Conway is very situational, though. Think? If they don't go to the right positions where that Conway can, he's pretty slow. And, I mean, the fire rate's not that absolutely the best compared to a baby waffle. It's just, it seems very situational to me. Like, it does have slightly better armor, you know, the turret. If you hit that uh, gun mantle, will bounce shots. It'd be why they're doing it, just a little bit better survivability. Uh, yeah, it's, faster guess, than, but... it's faster than a T-30, so doesn't hit as hard as a t30 well actually yeah it does because he's using the big gun remember uh big gun only hits for 600 i believe it's 750 i believe it's 600 i could be wrong but i do believe it's 600 yeah i think it's 600 well while we're waiting i will check <laughs> that's what i was just going to do <laughs> it is it is 600, right? You're right. That's what I thought. Call me on my life. <laughs> I thought it was 750 <laughs> for some reason. Gao's picking up a Conqueror. They're pulling out all the stops. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're not seeing an object this time. That's interesting. 3 KPZs. This is kind of inter... I almost suspect they're going to go K0 with having those 3 KPZs. They're probably going to push that bottom half and then have the 1390 and the Lorraine rolling together up top. Yeah, with the 1390 spot, Lorraine sit back and just kind of be his overwatch. Pretty much. BKP finally putting up some tanks. Uh, taking those 257s, uh, that's a really good idea, for, especially for this map over Conquerors. Um, Two KPZs, a Lorraine. This is going to be a pretty good matchup. It really comes down to probably T's and how much RNG the heavies have. 
Yeah, like it'll be interesting because those two five sevens, like I said, they've been doing a great job blocking a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right on BKP side, we have Roman, Albert, and Powell in the two five seven. We have Mini and the Lorraine, Jean and the KBZ fifty T. There in the KPC, there in the T54 Lightweight, and Bud and Conway. EWM, Sucker Team in the Conqueror. Gowie in the Conqueror. Wolfjack in the Lore. Gaming in KPZ, Jamma KPZ, Lore KPZ, Lunio EMX, Hubby in the Mini. The Conway did keep the big gun. Uh, go all the way up there to check that out. <laughs> And it's almost no. identical to what you said, Gino. 1390 is running with the lore, keeping the waffle and overwatch. Oh, wait, maybe not. He might be shifting Lorraine help those heavies. Wow. The baby waffle on the 1390. Oh, so here we're going to see a brawl between KPZs. Hmm. This should be a good one. Uh, they have the Lorraine with them, though, so that's, that's probably going to be a problem. Is Lorraine normally able to keep up with them that well? Uh, I guess so. I mean, I I don't know how fast Lorraine goes. It, I thought it was slower. But KPZs go 60, I do believe. So I guess Lorraine goes 60. Lorraine, maybe no, he's a speed what to do here. Yeah, he's maybe. in a position that's kind of interesting, being that he doesn't have the best armor. Their T54 is... Pushing up pretty far, spotting out this entire one line. Not seeing anything though, because they're not over there. Ooh, ooh, I like what EWM's doing. Keeping these conquerors on this little hill, keeping them completely hauled down, making sure they don't get pushed. They're rotating all of these mediums out. That would be the death of them though, because we know that EKP overmatches everything over here. The, the problem they're going to run into is Hubby. He's got an overwatch on him. They try to do an overmatch like they have been, where they just surround, like get right on top of it. Surround. Hubby's going to have a lot of shots he's going to be able to get. True, but he does need to be careful because of where these KPZs and Lorraine are sitting. They will have shots on him if he gets spotted. I guess I don't think he's going to set up a... that tree right in front of him. Uh, yeah, I'm saying if he does. Like if he does, he does. Yeah. On the off chance. They also aren't keeping any... Ooh, Vine Flyer going in. They aren't keeping anybody actually, like the lower. He's not in a position where he would be able to spot him. To be honest, at that distance, I don't think he would be able to. There are some good Vine Flyers, flyers going in. Fires. Wow, those are really close to Hubby at that. Mm-hmm. They might know something. Oh... Thirteen ninety knocks a tree over. They saw it. They might throw a blind fire at it. Ooh, the lore takes a hit from T fifty four. T fifty four spotted the Lorraine. Yeah. That can shot bounces. He's got this Lorraine's got to be careful. He goes into the wrong position. He's gonna get shot by these mediums. Thirteen ninety is gonna rush the T fifty four lightweight just to get him off. This might not be the best play, but we'll see. Hilton. <laughs> It's like BKP, they're they're getting a little antsy. They want to get aggressive on, on this uh, K line. They shouldn't have thrown that KPZ down there to help the Lorraine and the 1390. Hmm. I've said it with they set up they had a really good setup here, but throwing that KPZ. With the position these conquerors are in, they're not gonna be easy to pass. They're gonna be fighting against tanks that have to show their hull. Hmm. I think their light. I think uh, TWM's light tank is getting a little too antsy here. Pushed up way too far. I can't really support anybody over there. I think he was just trying to get that light off. Oh, here comes the fighting. Here we go. We're seeing the uh, KPZ start taking shots and send it back. Ooh. Here comes that overmatch, but is it gonna be right. quick enough? We set up the hill. 
They are full pushing. Gonna take that KPC. Conqueror goes down. Great focus fire. Coming. Conqueror's is down as well. Nobody takes another yeah, shot. There wasn't enough. There wasn't enough fire. They got a lot of guys low, but nobody was getting taken out. Like I said, Ooh, that's that's Conway. KPC. Yeah, Conway down to 90 health. He might get taken out by KPC here. The shot doesn't quite land. Right the lore down. does go down. Ooh, nice fire from the KPC. Yeah, KPC does, KPC go, does down. go down. And here's the thing. Look, uh, TWM, they're up two th almost 2,000 hit points right now. Yeah. They need to be careful. This KBZ can't be everything as much as he is. 257 does go down. 1390 is doing a really great AMS? job of having side shots. Ooh. Yeah, they've completely pinned these guys down. And where that T54 rotated back to, he's, oh he's not able to really help anybody. This 257 is getting eaten alive. Ooh, he got very lucky that was only a tracking shot. So here's the problem that a BKP is going to run into. Those two 257s are not able to escape where they're at. Mm. And this 3090, if he's not if he's careful, he can literally just get over here and just shoot them in the sides, killing them. Mm. Roman. T54 is on, oh, but he got spotted. Yep. Ooh, shot right, right, he has to land a shot. Lorraine has to land one at least. Before he's gonna get out for free. Ooh. Okay. Well, shot goes in on the AMX from one of the heavies. Doesn't quite land though. 1390 needs to get out of there because if he if he gets out, he literally can control this game at this point. Shot misses to kill him. I think he's unspotted now. could easily kill Roman here. If Roman isn't careful. Now the other thing is they could force a push from the 257s by throwing the 1390 on cap. I think they're doing slightly different. This lore might be coming to cap. Lorraine might be getting on cap. Mm -hmm. Amex trying to get in the middle. In positions, yeah. I think he's trying to get up trying behind. The problem mm -hmm. they're going to run into is this KPZ. He gets up there. That KPZ. He's not as healthy as he could be. Uh, K if KPZ does miss a shot, he will die to the 1390. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, object 257 is about to get pushed. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the Conway shot doesn't land oh, in the wall. Conway does go down. Ooh, we good. Roman is down. Waffle's gotta get down here. Ooh, the, the Amex back. kills the KPZ. KPZ. Amex does kill the KPZ. Fight. That's what I was gonna. That's what I said. KPZ misses that shot. It's over. Ooh, and the two five seven gets an, it's ammo wrapped. Waffle doesn't land a shot either. <laughs> yeah, but the two five seven. Really good. Cool play by TWM. All right, on BKP side we have Albert and the he says 1,581 damage, but in the Conway, 1,384 damage, Roman in the object, 1 kill, 1,353 damage, Hawa in the object, 1,302 damage, 327 assists, Nuch in the KBZ, 957 damage, Chair in the T-54, 732 damage, 492 assists, Mister in the lore, 571 damage, Sherwick in the KBZ, 2 kills, 452 damage. And on TWM side, we have Hubby. Doing work in that waffle with two kills, 3,311 damage, 596 assist. Lord in the KPZ, one kill, 3,223 damage, 1,218 assist. Sal in the 1390, two kills, 2,139 damage with 46 assist. Jamma in the KPZ, two kills, 2,072 damage and 830 assist. D in the Conqueror with 1,196 damage, 544 assist. Damien in the KPZ with 960 damage, 306 assist. Ozajek and the Lorraine with one kill, 422 damage, 705 assist. And Gao in the Conquer with 369 damage and 412 assist. Yeah, so I'm. I can't lie. I thought 
BKP had it after they took all three of those that, those two heavies and that APZ without losing anyone. Mm -hmm. Then they just slowly got picked away after that because most of them were in a bad position. They weren't able to find cover. They just were taking shots from three or four people. Uh, both teams played incredibly well in the set. And TWM, they just that's just a little bit better at the end there. GG's to them, a way to take the championship for sure. Yeah, it was, it was great games, great sets. Yeah, GG's to everyone. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to end the stream, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, might have just a pub match stream later, but hopefully we can get another comp, in, comp match in soon. See you.